John, please take it away, sir. All right, thank you. Hi, everybody. Nice. I've been a CEO now for 23 years, and we never talked about tariffs in those 23 years. We had trade things, but it never really entered into the discussions in my management team. So this is a very current thing. The guy who kept the whole demonstration team together saying we've got to keep working hard. It's a de demoralizing job. So my exaltations to our government is uh, you got to get us back to equilibrium. So I think the president's worked really hard at keeping the equil equilibrium now while he's trying to negotiate a fair exit. It's also my belief that they needed, you know, the trade needed to be modernized. The design of it had not fallen uh, in line with the way the world really has evolved. And it was one-sided. Only that guy can fix it. And this is as simple as can be, and it's not easy at all, because so few actually in your organization you have two options. How are the person you have a problem with or shut the hell up? And anything else is gonna make- Ford builds more vehicles for its customers in the United States by workers in the United States than any other manufacturer, mm -hmm. almost 80%. And uh, we like that advantage, and this rewards that. So uh, I, think, I think there's a other side to this this year uh, that will, you know, will be the new equilibrium. So part of this mindset is not to be recession proof, it's to say, come on recession, we're ready for you. And that's, that's Ford will be ready for the recession. For a terrific job. Ladies and gentlemen, just a couple of really quick things. If you love this and you want to hear your typical podcast, uh, one more thing, and now I invite you to immediately join us for a strolling lunch.